All right, my first uh, guest tonight uh, started his career in professional wrestling, then turned his sights to Hollywood, acting in such films as The Mummy Returns and The Scorpion King. Now he's the star of the brand new movie, The Rundown. Please welcome The Rock. <laughs> When... <laughs> I don't know why they do that. I've been here a while. Uh... <laughs> You're cursed gotta, with that beauty. Yeah, so. cursed with that beauty. Thank you. I gotta say, I was scared there for a second because a lot of guests come out slowly, but you came running out and running right at me. And you have, have you experienced the rock running right at you? Uh, it was uh, for a minute. I thought I was, I was. Uh, you're gonna rip my head off. I really. Oh, okay. No, but are you good now? Everything's cool. I'm good now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better. You're a very peaceful. You're a very tranquil person. It seems yeah, to well, me. I feel, you know, it's my favorite show. Come on. Well, that's nice of you to say. Thank you. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you said the same thing on Sally Jesse not long ago. Um, how have you been? Life is good. I mean, this movie, people really like this movie. I've Things been great, are... yeah. Very, very lucky. Um, the reviews for the rundown have been great. And we wanted to make a great, fun movie, funny right. movie. Right. Uh, Peter Berg, the director, I thought did a great job. It was great just working with everybody. Sean William Scott, Christopher Walken. Right, it seems like it's a fun, it's a fun group of people. And I wanted yeah. to ask you, uh, first of all, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken, he's been on this show. He's, he's been on this show many times, and right. and what's great is Christopher Walken could come out and he could just you know read from like the recipe on a on a Kellogg's box, <laughs> and people would laugh. Just right. pretty much him doing. Do you find that to be uh, true as well? That him just in regular life is a he's a very funny guy when he's not even trying to be. He. Uh... You're absolutely right, by the way, and and to know Chris now that I've gotten to know him, yeah, anything he just he does anything, and it, and it's funny. Uh, for example, there, we had this one big scene, and we shot the scene, and it was a couple of days before Thanksgiving, and he and he came by. Here, let's act it out real quick. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll be walking. Oh. Okay. Gonna... <laughs> you be me. I'll be you. Okay. okay. Here we go. Yeah. Pump up a little bit. Good. Good. All right. Can you? Uh... Yeah, I can't do much more than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is me being you. It's just, oh, I'm the rock. <laughs> All right. No, that's good, Mick. Can you make yourself a little bigger put, in here? Or... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna in. You get the idea. All right. Okay, so he comes by trailers. I, I, hey, rock, you know, great job. You know, great <laughs> that's job. A good, that's not a bad walking. It's not, it's, it's yeah, not yeah. bad. It's not bad. Uh, so as he's leaving, um, he's kind of walking out, and right. you got to say, hey, uh, you know, Chris, Happy, happy Thanksgiving. This was me. That, this was you saying it to him. So I just yeah. say like, uh, uh, hey, uh, Chris, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. He's got a very odd timing, doesn't he? Yeah, that, that cadence. That he rhythm. looked at you for a while. Look now, at me. Speaking of, uh, of speaking of big celebrities, last time you were on the show, I got you to do an Arnold impression, and then I was and I was hoping that it wouldn't get you into trouble. Did he ever find out that you did the Arnold impression? Well, you know, speaking of Arnold, he has a cameo in the rundown. Right. And uh, he did. He, he called me up and, he, and he's like, I rock, let me tell you something. I saw you on Conan O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, I'm like, Who, who's it? He's like, I, I saw you on Conan O'Brien. I like that. <laughs> who is this? <laughs> yeah. You know who this is. <laughs> And was he was he mad about it? Well, yeah. I mean, he was. Ah, you know, if you ever do that again, I'll come over there and I'll slap Conan's lips off his face. <laughs> Wait a if you ever do that yeah, again, he's gonna right come out. Ah! <laughs> That's no fair. I gotta ask you about something. This is we didn't make this up. Sometimes on this show we make things up, we invent them. This is not made up. This actually is running in magazines right now. It's an ad for a porcelain doll of a baby rock called Little Rock. <laughs> and I gotta know, what the hell is... <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> what is that? See, okay. <laughs> See, here, here's a problem with this. There's a couple of problems with this. There's a lot of problems with this. Let's not define the problem with this. <laughs> But my first problem is, you know, there's something wrong with with portraying me as a baby and looking like like a little pimp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like a little baby pimp right. here. Yeah, yeah. What? This isn't what you acted like when you were a baby, was it? Maybe it was. I Maybe, don't know. Well, you know. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a piece of this? You must, right? Every time they sell one of those? You um, get yes. A sweet change? Could you buy some, please? Yeah, yeah, we're going to order hundreds. Of now I think the word's out. People are going to go buy this They're thing. They're rushing right now. <laughs> In this movie, yeah, people are leaving right now. <laughs> I want to ask you about this movie because we were we were watching all these clips from the movie today, and there's some pretty uh, you know great cool stunts in this mm -hmm. movie. You actually work with a monkey uh, in this movie, and I've worked with right. like chimpanzees before when you do comedy bits, right. and it can get rough because they're very unpredictable. And right. what was your experience working with a monkey? Um, th th just very. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. Right. Uh, <laughs> you're like, right. Okay. Yeah. Please finish your story. Um, I am interested. I want to know what happened no. with you and the monkey. Well, the, you know, the, the monkeys, they scream, they howl, and, um, you know, they're, they're nasty. And the, one monkey in particular, Peter Berg, really wanted authenticity, you know, with this particular scene where you're hanging upside down and, and the monkey is, is uh, humping my face, the side of my face. <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. that just spontaneous that the monkey did that? Was it? Um, well, I had asked in monkey lingo. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, but there's one monkey in particular. Uh, he's like a teenage monkey, and um, who really, uh, like, really horny. And he had like his little, like, uh, red tube of lipstick sticking out. Yeah. No, but he wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't happening here with me. No, it wasn't like that. He was just. He was in a, an aroused uh, uh, adolescent monkey. Yes, absolutely. And that was the one that had to jump on us, jump off us, jump on us. So it was really interesting because every once in a while he'd jump on Sean William Scott and he'd kind of get a little pintu to the cheek. <laughs> Man. Hey, well, yeah, no, wait. You can't knock the monkey loving until you try it. It's not. <laughs> That's a sentence I've never heard on this show before. <laughs> Do not knock the monkey love until you've tried it. <laughs> the monkey love. The monkey love, yeah. Wow. Did the monkey eventually calm down, I guess? Uh... Um, eventually. Yeah, you know, yeah. And after, after he, uh, you know, he was able to do what he had to do, but he's, you know. <laughs> what a nice finish to that story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, right well, Very good. Um, let me ask you quickly about, uh, you know, I've met many action stars on this show over the years, mm -hmm. and I don't think people realize this at home, but a lot of them are not physically as big as they appear to be on camera. I got to tell you, The Rock is one of the only ones I've known who, you meet him in person, and he's a big, powerful guy. Were you always this big? Did you bloom late, or were um, you... No, I was, I, was, I was always a big kid, and even uh, in... Fourth grade, fifth grade. I was probably six two, six three when I was thirteen years old, fourteen no, years old. No, seriously? Yeah, and and I had this big ass afro, which made me about <laughs> like six seven. Uh -huh. And um, and in in Hawaii where I grew up, uh, we were able to get our driver's license at fourteen. So when we moved from Hawaii, I moved to of all places Pennsylvania. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good move, yeah. Hawaii to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Palm trees, sun, beautiful women. Ah, strip mining. <laughs> so it would, it, would, it would be difficult to, uh, especially with the girls, because I would go to, like, different high schools, and we kind of moved around, and right. everybody always thought that I was, I was an undercover cop at 15. Just because you were just big guy? Big. By, that, by the time I was 15, I was 6'4", 240 pounds, and, you know, I was, yeah... Wow. <laughs> yeah, so it was always kind of difficult, especially especially with the girls. Because, you know, I was like, hey, you're trying to throw some rap on. I'm like, hey, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, Let me tell you, I hey. never tried to throw some rap on any girl in high school. <laughs> especially not by saying, hey, mama. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, hey, mama. <laughs> that never... That works for The Rock. That doesn't work that for me. Work. Did it work for you, though? Um, th no, it, it, <laughs> it didn't it never work, work for you. Not yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, like, look you gotta try my method, Rock. Let me tell you, you're going about it all wrong. Uh, yes, I will. Try uh, that. I, I want to make sure. Can you we... do that again. That's very funny. No, you like it? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Something on that. Uh... Now, we have a clip here from the rundown, and, and uh, like I say, we were looking at a lot of these clips today, and there's just a lot of uh, great action. I don't know which clip this is. Do you know which this one this is? This is, uh, it's entitled Option C, and that's, that's uh, my character, Beck, that's his code, basically. He gives the, 
he gives the people who he's going to pick up two options. You have option A or you have option B. Right. Uh, Sean William Scott in this scene insists that there's an option C. I insist that there's not, and right. this is what happens. All right, let's take a look. I wouldn't try. See, I wouldn't. I don't believe that someone would try that on you. <laughs> That's the only part that's unbelievable. What, the option C? Yeah, no, I, I, I myself wouldn't try that move on you. I, I, just, I just wouldn't, but that's just me. Well, I'm well, a physical what, coward. What, what, what would you do? I would get you to look the other way, and then I would have a lot of friends with me. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> that's But I'm a coward. Uh, the rundown is in uh, theaters right now, and uh, we're really happy for you. You're doing great. Thank you so yeah, much. Thanks I a lot for coming it. by. The Rock, Isaac Mizrahi, coming up to take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. It's all good. Fine show tonight. Stay tuned next week, though. We got some uh, great guests coming up, including Alec Baldwin, Val Kilmer, Lisa Kudrow, Carmen Electra, Sean William Scott, Jack Black, much, much more. Those are good shows. Those are really... I, I stand behind those ones. <laughs>